A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Fa'a'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiyullah Atiyah Rasulullah Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself. Ana abdukul ajeezu da'eefu, miskeenu zalim jahan but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and this life of continuous negation its foundation is not on amal that when we speak for ourselves and to ourselves that it's foundation that our shaykh put upon us is not based on your actions your shahada your salah your fasting your ramadan means those those pillars of islam don't base your connection based on that don't think that based on those actions you achieved something and by negating those they told us that build the foundation of your practices based on muhabbat, ishq and love. And love, the best of love for Allah love has its priority and the best of Allah's love that He directs us is love Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result they taught us that that is the, the glue that binds you to this station and to this reality. That accompanying awliyaullah and they accompany their awliya, they accompany their guides and guides so high the ascension so deep the reality it wasn't achieved because the superiority of their salah, the superiority of how many times they went for hajj, the superiority of how impressive their Ramadan was. It was achieved by the immensity of the love that Allah put within their heart and it became a glue in which bound them to that reality. Means that's the immensity of this structure, this reality, this level of faith because you know there are… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. The common people, they come, they basically accept Islam very superficially and they're content. But from amongst the crowds and the billion, two billion Muslim people, seven to eight billion people upon this earth, two billion of them kissed by the Divinely Presence to come into Islam. And then the immense gift that Allah gives to those whom He grants them iman and faith and, and the chance to achieve much higher realities, to reach and to be in a company with those who have maqamul Islam, maqamul iman wal maqamul ihsan. And in the depth of the love and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad its station can't be described, its reality can barely be described without everyone attacking you. 
And it's just something that everyone will understand when they took their last breath. And that's only achieved with love. Because of that love that Allah sends upon a servant, we said that and we've discussed that many times as a reminder for myself, love is faith. So anyone whom experience this Divinely love is a gift from Allah It's nothing that you can pray and achieve. It's not something that you, you can give and achieve, that you continuously worship, worship, worship and make du'a that Allah grant that ishq and love and muhabbat, the Divinely love. And then Allah those are the murid and there are those whom are murad whom Allah had granted them an ancient love in which from amongst the crowds Allah's love descends and transcends upon their souls and their wujud, their being. And by means of that love they heard a calling. And it pulled them from amongst the crowds and the minions of people to take a path to ascend. And they moved through the crowds of Qumun people and they wanted more, they needed more. They sought out within their hearts, no, no, I'm, I'm, oh, that's very nice your Jumma, but I need something more. Then I sat amongst these people, I needed something more. I sat amongst another group of people and we needed more. Means that Allah put that yearning within the hearts and souls of those whom He's granted this Divinely love to seek it. And as a result that love with its magnetism guided them to guidance. And Allah put that magnet within their being, within their heart and they're guided and magnetically a juzbah. They're attracted to that reality and they move towards that reality. And the magnetic pull is so powerful that everything else cannot satisfy them. There can be no fake attractions that come because many this world is designed for all the, the fake attractions to come. But the magnetic pull when Allah is calling the servant is so strong to come it breaks through. So if anybody played with magnets and understand magnetic pull means the stronger the magnet you can put many things and it pulls right through it and will break through it until it reaches its destination. Means that's the reality that our bond and these stations, these knowledges, these realities of what they teach of the greatness of Muhammadun Rasulullah because you can't attribute anything to Allah you can't say that I'm going to draw near to Allah There's no shariq, there's no partner, there's no… that's not the etiquette and the manners. But what Allah bestowed of His gifts and His treasures wanting to be known, He put those into Muhammadun Rasulullah And when they've been kissed by the Divine, blessed by the Divine, it's that love that Allah puts within you that draws you to move towards Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah gave some a stronger love and they keep pushing deeper, gave yet again stronger love and they kept pushing deeper. And Mawlana Shaykh would say that, pray for love, that, Ya Rabbi grant me ishq and muhabbat in my heart. For those whom you love and protect my heart from those whom you don't love. That 
it was a way of teaching us that keep asking Allah to keep that magnet strong. It's immensity and it's blessing something that can't be imagined. Because of the knowledges that we teach and the depth of those knowledges, people wonder, how can I achieve those? As we sat with our shaykh and he would speak of realities, thinking to myself, I'm never going to pray to reach those. I'm never going to do anything to achieve those. And it was not something that we were going to achieve with our physical actions. And this achievement was only through ishq and muhabbat. That it, it's like a visual that comes in our mind, it said, you're on this lowly station of the earth and Allah turns on a charge and that charge is so powerful that the servant lifted through every type of difficulty, every type of obstacle, every type of, of blockage and when Allah's calling is pulling that servant. And then go back and you reflect to the salawats and to the naat, sharif and everything and the astonishment that, how did I reach to this? How did I enter into the company of these souls and in their presence and to have their love, to have their ishq, to be under their nazar? It wasn't through my fasting, it wasn't through my salah. We do those because Allah ordered them but there's not a way to pray to achieve that. There's not a way to, to give zakah that achieves that. There's not a way to go for hajj to achieve those stations. But it was that Allah grant us sincerity, grant me good character, that everything that Allah wants is good character is the vessel of the heart that becomes like gold. Because how Allah can put His love in a dirty vessel? We begin to understand why they teach. That it's not your actions and movement you're going to achieve these. You busy yourself making the vessel of Allah's love, the Ya Rabbi I want you to send your love and ishq into my heart. He says, then prepare your heart for that love to come. Any dirtiness, take it out. Any inappropriateness, take it out. And their whole life was just scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. For if Allah's love should begin to enter that cup, it shouldn't be contaminated with anything. It shouldn't be contaminated with bad character and hasad and, and all of the bad elements that Allah would then restrict that love, say, is enough, I'm not pouring more. So then the turuqs were based on clean your heart, clean your heart, do your zikr, look to your character, take an accounting of yourself, pray that Allah take away the hypocrisy, the bad character, that take away my anger, take away my bad character in which my heart becomes a pure vehicle and vessel for Allah's Divinely love. Or if Allah should begin to pour that love, the stations and proximities that are achieved can never be understood. It's by means of that love we draw near to all of these holy souls. Because Allah gave a heart to receive those realities. So they understood then the immense secret that when you have that type of heart that Allah will pour that ishq, then love whom He loves. So we come into these beautific nights, say, Ya Rabbi for the immense love of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam and the immense realities that her holy soul represents. Pour that love within our heart and by means of Allah pouring that love you draw near to them.
the audience of salawat and nasheed is presented to their holy presence. We've described before like birds of paradise. Every group has an audience to come and recite the, their five minute, ten minute audience that Ya Rabbi allow us that our souls in their reality to be presented to her holy presence. And as you're celebrating her birth allow us to come and enter into that celebration and give our praisings and give our gratitude Ya Rabbi that what kind of nation that you made for us that its king is Sayyidina Muhammad And all these holy souls are his holy family, all these holy souls are his holy companions. The envy of all creation and all nations and everything Allah has created envies the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad From the beginning of time to the last of days grants us an audience to come and to praise her holy presence, her holy birth. That for if her nazar should come upon us and dress us, bless us, grant us from the bounty of her aqidah and the blessings of her dunya to take away difficulties of dunya, it's something that can be imagined but it's only granted through love. It's not a mental debate, who is this, who is that, who is important, who is not important. All that Allah wanted was make your heart to be clean. And as the heart is clean it goes around asking Allah Ya Rabbi pour love into it. Pour into it the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Pour into it the love of the holy companions and Ahlul Bayt. Pour into it the love of awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard. Means everything dear to you Ya Rabbi that pour that love into it by means of Allah pouring that ishq and love they draw near into those realities. Because the hadith of Prophet you be with whom you love. So what did you prepare for the day of judgment? And the Bedouin asked Prophet that, when is the day of judgment? When are all these things and teachings of calamities that you're teaching, when, when is this day of judgment? Interrupted the Jummah of Prophet until finally Sayyidina Muhammad got his sharat and gave an answer that, what have you prepared for judgment? And they said, nothing but the love of Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Abu Bakr Sadi, Sayyidina Umar and the Holy Companions. And Prophet replied, you will be with whom you love. Because this was a, a gift to the nation. The one asking was sent to ask so that it would be revealed the depth of the realities of this nation in what they could achieve its only way would be through ishq and muhabbat. There's no action that people can do to achieve these realities that awliyaullah teach and they talk about. But it's through love. Love is free. There's many things that we do to show our love but love doesn't cost anything. Means when we understand the subtlety of the way it's based on love. The one whom their hearts are clean and they seek this Divinely love, they seek this Divinely realities of ishq and muhabbat, it's free. And they expand their heart, expand their love and their heart becomes a vehicle and vessel for Divinely grace, Divinely blessings. And they love it so much that Allah gives to them other ways to get more love because now they're sensitive to these energies. So they give charity, they do selfless acts, they go out and be of service. 
all the ibadah, all the worshipness, they feel the raining of love upon their soul and they thrive and they breathe and it sustains their being. Then we understand why Allah gave all these opportunities, who wants to come and get the love? And they do good actions and Allah sends immediate bounties of energies and, and realities of ishq and muhabbat upon their soul. Something free and so easy to achieve, at least we think, is to open the heart and ask Allah fill me with good character and your divinely love. And all the shaitan wants, he knows the secret and all the shaitan wants is to take away the love. Means when they explain how all this bounty is being achieved, how to climb the, the, the height of realities with the shaykhs, with awliya, with companions, with Ahlul Bayt, all the way to the mountain of realities to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is ishq and muhabbat with good character. And all shaitan wants and if he knows that reality he wants to take that love away and make the person to take away what was free to them, their love and block their love from the shaykh. They want to pull away their love from the shaykh. They want to weaponize their love with the shaykh and begin to restrict it. And that's what's meant by cutting your own rope. And also all the shaitan wants is to block your heart and close the channel. He knows it's not your amal, he's not going to make you deviate in your amal because the people whom begin to lose their love they still pray, thinking, oh it doesn't matter, I don't need to be with them, I don't even need to listen to that, I don't even need to participate in it, I'm praying. Yahoo, you didn't achieve anything with that salah, all your actions Allah will judge them and call you to an account and say, come on let's talk about your salah, let's talk about your zakah, let's talk about all your actions and what their intentions were. But the depth and the height of this mountain and these realities was only ishq and muhabbat. And when shaitan can fool the servant to restrict their love, block their love as if they are free falling from that reality, something that was so free and easily given. And people now use and weaponize their love and they break the magnet of their connection and the connection to that reality. And if it's broken, very difficult to repair. We pray that Allah give us an understanding of the immensity of these holy nights that with good character, good manners, that golden receiver of the heart is continuously asking Allah send ishq and muhabbat. Based on that ishq and muhabbat every blessing coming, every feeling coming, every Divine grace and presence they move with the speed of love into their presence. These associations begin, they're the first in line to receive that ishq and love that Allah is sending on these holy nights. These holy nights Allah's blessing their souls with Divinely blessings and those recipients of ishq they're the first in the line to say, Ya Rabbi we're also celebrating this love, let us to receive from the bounty that you're bringing upon that soul. And that's the immensity and all the shaitan wants is to block the heart and block the love. We pray that Allah is our defender. And that Allah defend the hearts of the believers and grant them 
the ikhlas and sincerity they need and to stay within the oceans of ishq and muhabbat. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.